and welcome to today's upload. My name's Emma, make sure you stick around for vlogs and hauls and we've got all sorts of autumn lovely stuff coming up. You uh, might have already watched my autumn house tour and also my children and I did a really big autumn kind of closet clear out. Just ad adjust my autumny headband and you may remember that some of the clothes in there were very small. So after the that video, we filmed the video, I went upstairs and I went and got some lovely new bits and pieces for my children from H&M. I actually joined H&M online. They've got like a little club thing and I got 10% off. So that might be quite worth you doing that. Ever so often they do do 20% off. So there's loads of H&M stuff here. And also I popped to Primark early one morning and got some bits and pieces for that. So I thought I would start off with stuff my little girl, she's a nine, she just didn't need as much as my little boy who had been wearing age five clothes despite being seven. <laughs> so she didn't need as much stuff and she hand picked these herself because you know, that's what nine year olds are like. So I will start off with a few bits and bobs from Primark. She opted for, for 10 pound, this lovely black, denim dungaree dress really really lovely lovely with tights and maybe like a striped jumper also will be great for the spring as well these will last hopefully till next year maybe even the year after we also picked up i love these tops this is two pound thirty these are just really cute little plain ribbed t-shirts they are a bit cropped but she just wears them under stuff um, i'm not quite at the stage where um she's wearing cropped stuff yet much to her annoyance also i love having lots of pairs of leggings in the house which you can shove under dresses which you can wear like baggy jumpers over the top of if it's really cold and snowy you can perhaps put them under you know like a little snowsuit so this was two pounds and i picked up some mustard we love mustard mustard is actually erin's favorite color so you will see a lot of mustard that was two pounds and a gray pair she already had upstairs some maroon i got these in actually size 10 to 11 she put some on the other day that were like nine to 10 and they were a little bit short. So yeah, we've got 10 to 11 and upstairs she's got some maroon ones and black ones from earlier in the year. I also got this for six pound, which I 110% would wear myself. A lovely mustard striped jumper. This is age 10 to 11 as well. It will be a bit long, but I think this will probably last her all this autumn and winter and through to next year's, fingers crossed. And then we're on to the H&M stuff. So as I say, she didn't need as much stuff. Go and watch the video, you'll see she's got quite a lot of stuff anyway. So these are just bits and pieces. But unhelpfully, they've not got the prices on, but they're all on the H&M website, so go and check them out. We picked out some hound's tooth dog's tooth it's not blue's tooth <laughs> let me know the pattern in the comments trousers with some little mustard stripes which is great very very cute i love these kind of drawstring trousers or paper bag trousers aren't they they're quite light i will say these are quite light so if you're looking for autumny things maybe this isn't the best but this will be good for if she goes to any little parties or play dates so we've got some little um trousers again with the hint of mustard as we know she's obsessed she's obsessed another this is in size eight to ten so this hopefully will last her this year and also next year this is like a maroon ribbed top which we really really love they had loads of nice basic tops on there i will say you can get stuff similar to this in Primark but that's lovely now this is really lovely I'll stand back a bit so you can see it but it's very crumpled so needs a good hang it's a jumpsuit she loves a jumpsuit with a little belt and tiny little kind of spots and flowers on them so that'll be great for any parties or any little Christmas shindigs gone are the days of sparkly tutus Another item that I would wear, it's just what happens, I just want to wear all my daughter's clothes, is this lovely, look at this jumper. Again, we've got the mustard and pink. She's not a huge fan of pink, but she was like, I like that. So we've gone for that. And another pair of paper bag pants. Paper bag trousers. 
Again, these, if you are looking to buy these for your kiddo, they are quite thin. So this is not the kind of thing you can shove on and go adventuring in a wood. This is something you could shove on and maybe pop around your mate's ass. <laughs> But yeah, she has got lots and lots of lovely clothes as well upstairs. So this will definitely carry her over all the way through autumn. It will go um, over Christmas and also will probably do her for next year. She might need perhaps just a couple of Christmassy things, maybe a couple of Christmas jumpers, perhaps some sort of sequin affair, maybe for Christmas Day. I love a jazzy sequin for Christmas Day. So there you go, as I say, Primark and H&M, and I will come back. There's a massive pile of boys stuff, so brace yourself. This is gonna, this is gonna take a while. Right, here we go. I told you. So, are these gonna fall over? Quite possibly. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in two piles. So, Ethan, shot up during lockdown he's always been quite petite quite small he got away with wearing like five to six shorts um six-year-old shorts even though he's seven turning eight in january and then in lockdown he just shot up pajamas suddenly became short trousers suddenly came cropped so there is a lot of stuff here i am aware but i'm hoping that this will take him all the way through this year and he doesn't grow loads more and also next year. So we'll start off with some of the Primark bits. Not much from Primark for Ethan. I didn't find loads in there. So for £5, I just got him this kind of plain black hoodie. It's got little speckles on. I thought it was really cute just to throw on to go to the park. So I really liked that. And also I got him some trousers. These were £8. For Ethan, I really like the elasticated jeans uh, that are like tracksuit bottoms i'm not a huge fan of the zipper ones i just think these just look much comfier these possibly could be too big they're eight to nine um but we will see and if not he can always wear them next year so it's not like the end of the world so that was the primark not much in there there might be some newer stuff in but i have no intention of going back for a while so right so these are six to eight so i picked up for him a little if you remember rightly he wanted some animal stuff so there's some animal bits and people pieces and no purple that was his no purple so i picked him up this really cute dinosaur jumper i will say again this is quite thin it's a little sweatshirt really nice size six to eight I got him a couple of shirts. These are both seven to eight and these will be for parties he goes to, any like special events like meals. Oh gosh, now I'm thinking they probably won't have parties, will they? They might have like maybe the odd play date birthday thing, but are parties a thing of the past? It's just dawned on me. So maybe like birthday meals or Christmas. So I loved, I feel that was such such gorgeous colours and I love this because it reminded me of like a boy band. <laughs> it's a hooded, um, well I think you can take the hood off by the looks of it. It's a hooded shirt which I thought again was really really nice maybe for again pumpkin picking um, or something like that. I'm sure pumpkin picking will still take place surely. So these, oh this has got the price and these are 7 99 These are um, 7 to 8 and again these are joggers, but now I'm looking at these, they are turnips, so they might be quite short, but perhaps if he's got boots on, he can wear those, those are great. He needed some um, long sleeve t-shirts, he's got loads of short sleeve t-shirts. So this was a pack of three, and you've got a tiger, you've got like a greeny brownie one, and then like a, a brownie orange. I'm so good with my colours. But that was a little pack of three. I thought those would look really, really nice with tracksuit bottoms or whatnot. Couple of hoodies. I maybe I should have got this for Erin as well. I think she would have loved this. This is size six to eight, so it's just a mustard hoodie with navy on the bottom. Um, I get a bit frustrated. Oh, now I'm thinking, is this? No, this isn't for Erin. I get a bit frustrated with the girls' stuff we've talked about before. It's all cropped, isn't it? It's all hoodies and everything's cropped. So maybe. I might get another something similar for Erin, but I really liked that. 
And then you know I love Halloween. I tried to get her in one of these and she was like, no. I don't want to wear a match with my brother this year. And I'm like, no, don't do it to me. So we got a cute, this is size six to eight, a little pumpkin hoodie, which he will love wearing around Halloween. And I will, quite frankly, love to see him in it. I thought this was beautiful. Again, size six to eight. Um, it's a, he will really like that. And that's quite smart as well. Again, if you're popping out somewhere nice, I love that. This made me smile because I would have worn this in the 90s and so would have all the boy bands that I madly loved. It is a denim jacket with like tracksuit bottom arms and you can take the hood off. How cool is that? I love, absolutely love that and he will look so smart in that. He loves that kind of thing. Something that Ethan has been asking for for ages and ages and ages is a pair of dungarees. I don't know why. We've been going to shops and we couldn't find any and there was a pair of dungarees. Now these are eight to nine. They could be, we'll see, see what they're like on him. But he was really, and I think this would look really nice with like one of those checked shirts underneath, like some little boots, little woolly hats, little, I don't know, mittens and stuff. So yeah, I, love, I absolutely love those. They're quite, he will, he will scream when he sees those. Again, loads of his tracksuit bottoms had kind of, he'd outgrown. So I got um, a pack of five. Uh, HM's quite good because they do things in, like basic things in big packs, like fives or three. So I've got this pack, so we've got a grey. We've got maroon. We've got these, actually I might send him into school with these for um, his PE because they uh, wear PE kit now from home. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just coughing because I'm so excited. So little brown ones and then this. Go lovely with the pumpkin jumper. I'm just going to go and get the little receipt so we can, I can tell you how much stuff was. So we know, so I can tell you how much the hooded denim jacket was $17.99 but I got 10% off. Uh, the dungarees were $17.99, the hooded flannel shirt was $14.99. For the five tracksuit bottoms it was $29.99 but I got £3 off. So that's not too bad for five pairs of trousers, £27. Everything else was around, so the three t-shirts was um, £8, so that's quite good. For Erin, um, most things were £9.99, apart from the little rib top that was £7.99. As I said, if you join the H&M group thing, I also don't, don't quote me this, but I think you get free delivery as well on there. So it might be worth joining. And actually this week I got an email, I'm, I'm not gonna spend it because I've just spent a fortune, giving me five pound off is spent 20 pounds, so it might be worth joining anyway. So there we go, the kids are set. Would you like to see a video of stuff that I will be planning on wearing this autumn? Um, I'm not, I've got no intention on buying loads of new clothes, but I could show you kind of what I've already got and some little extra bits and pieces that I plan to you know, zhuzh it up mainly. I think we can all tell I'm embracing the headband. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you have. Make sure you go back and check out the kind of video where I'm decluttering everything and getting their wardrobes nice and clean. I'm gonna put all these away. Actually, no, I'm gonna leave them out so Ethan can have a good old look at them. And I'll, I'll leave them on their bed so they can have a good, a good mooch. I know Ethan, as soon as you see those dungarees, he's going to want to put them on. I can, he's just, he's going to be so happy. Every time we're going to the shop, he's like, put on dungarees, just, oh. And also, Ethan is a huge fan of double denim, so, and that's a look that I'm always behind. Right, I love you lots, and I'll see you very soon. Bye, guys.